Hello everyone, Phil here from Versus Evil YouTube and I'm joined by Kieran. Hello! And we're going to begin a massive playthrough of one of the biggest games. I was about to say this in is the entire universe. This Pillars is going to be quite a colossal undertaking, isn't it? It's a big undertaking, but we both love Pillars. True. And I'm excited for this. So we're starting from the very beginning of the game. Kieran is going to be at the helm because Kieran, you've played Pillars 1 but not I've Pillars 2 I've played Pillars 1 yet. but not 2, no. So some of it's going to be a surprise. I've played quite a bit of Pillars <laughs> 2 now. So I'll uh, I'll leave you to sort of as evidenced by our many videos. <laughs> many, many videos. Um, so I can be a sort of advisor. I'm not going to spoil too much, but um, let's let's crack on with it. Let's crack on. This this is a decision. This is a pretty big decision <laughs> it's a already. a real decision. I think relax is quite tough, to be honest. Ah. I'm not ashamed to say it. Classic, rock hard, veteran, forget it. Path <laughs> of the Damned must be joking. Oh, let's go for Path of the sure. Damned. <laughs> I, I have managed to unlock a few of Bereth's blessings for you, though, so hmm. you can at least check out some of those. I'd recommend for most players coming to, to Pillars 2 for the first time, probably relaxed. And we can always whack it down to story when no one's looking, all right? But yeah, that sounds good to me, mate. Let's say relaxed. <laughs> uh, you can you can apply a few of Bereth's blessings, whatever. Let's have a look at these, actually, because I'm not sure what these are, because they weren't in uh, Pillars 1. No, so you, there you go. There's lots of money, starting money. Start nice. at level 4 if you want, which is actually a massive one. Yeah, that's pretty big, there. That's pretty good. Oh. Adir gets a pet slot. Oh, that's quite... Oh, I'm really... Well, I mean, I'm not making the calls here, but I do like pets and I do like Adair. I think it'd be cool to have two pets at once. A dad deserves a good boy. There, we go. there we go. <laughs> so I should explain that you unlock these blessings of Bereth by completing in-game achievements. So I've unlocked these by doing previous playthroughs of the game. Mm. And I've done it quite a bit, so I've got 32 points to spend. Not bad. And Kieran gets to reap all the I benefits. I get to reap the benefits. Your class grants double their normal skill bonus. That actually sounds pretty useful. That's really good, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Uh, that sounds about right to me. I think that's a good... It's a good selection, especially considering my boy Adair gets a pet. I'm looking forward to that. It won't kick in for a while, but... It's there. Trials of Iron as well? Feeling confident? <laughs> not at all, <laughs> but expert mode. <laughs> yeah, no, let's not do that. It would make for quite the frustrating Let's Play experience. Aye. Should we uh, kick it off? Let's hit it. Aora. A world where mortals live, die and are reborn through the turning of the wheel. The cycle of reincarnation watched over by the gods and made possible through pillars of a mystical substance known as Audra. Five years ago, you traveled from your home to the Deerwood, a nation that had waged war against the incarnated god of light, Aethys, resulting in his destruction. The country suffered from a plague of hollowborn, infants born without souls, that many believed was punishment for killing a god. In an ancient, secluded ruin, you witnessed a secret ritual that inadvertently transformed you into a watcher, one who can see and speak with souls. The ritual also gave you horrible visions, Waking nightmares of a past life that threatened your sanity. To put them to rest, you pursued the man who had led the ritual, a seemingly immortal agent of the gods, known as Theos Ix Arcanon. With divine assistance, you confronted and defeated Theos, ending your visions and resolving the Hollowborn Crisis. In so doing, you also learned the great secret that Theos had protected. That the ancient empire of Anguith had transformed themselves into gods. Your visions finally put to rest, you retired to the castle of Cadnua, built atop a massive statue of pure Audra, where you ruled in relative peace and prosperity. Made a nice story. You fixing up that old keep? 
Lifting the curse? <laughs> Must have told it a hundred times. But something got to gnawing at me. Thinking the spirits there weren't really at rest. But maybe the gods weren't finished with us. Love that cutscene. Yeah, so a bit of a hefty start there, Phil. Lots has happened since Pillars 1. I'm dead! <laughs> yeah, you're dead, mate, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, mm. Also worth noting that that's Ashley Johnson narrating, mm. who gamers will probably know best as Mel Gibson's daughter in the 2000 rom-com What Women Want. Or is that even is that, is, is that true fact? That's her. Yeah, no, that's her. That's her. It's one of her first roles. What? A yeah. little, little bit of trivia there. Take one, take one to the bank. <laughs> or to the pub quiz. So the Watcher's walking through some memories here from Pillars 1. Hmm. Happy memories of <laughs> various people telling him that he's been changed forever. And <laughs> hey, mate, remember that time now. when you were just on a nice little trip? Yeah, that's, that's gonna, you're going to change. <laughs> remember that tree full of hanging corpses? Oh, yeah. Fun times. Remember when someone changed your mind so you could see their souls? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Classic. Fun times. A great day. <laughs> Classic Theos. <laughs> He's quite the looker, isn't he? Quite the face. Hmm. So, law fans will know already that that's one half of the manifestation of Bereth. Hmm. The other half. I don't know. Maybe we'll meet her soon. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's her right maybe there. Maybe that's Who her knows? right there. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> As editor of this channel, there are a few things here and there that I do know. <laughs> it's time to determine who I am. Great start. I love this start. This is, this is actually a really interesting start for a game like this. Really draws you in. Yeah. Topped by a hollow face. The milky skin stretched across it is delicate and translucent like parchment that has been scraped clean too many times. She is preoccupied with the arrangement of cards on the table between you. With each movement, her armor squeaks and groans as though bearing an incredible weight. She places a final card, gives a nod of satisfaction, and raises her eyes to meet yours. Your brush with the divine has drained you of your powers, fractured your memories. Look upon these cards. They represent the courses of your life. You alone know best how they flowed. Arrange them to fit what you remember. So this is a neat little system that basically allows you to either import your pillars save so mm. that everything that you decided is as it is in this game or to <laughs> basically do a complete redo, a do-over mm. and uh, go for dark times. I, I, I don't know what sort of person would go for dark times. No, or everything I was, bad. I was about I've not, to say, I've not met that player yet. These are kind of like this is like a weird mood, mood board, isn't it? You know, some days you wake up, you're the benevolent soul. Other days, everything is bad. <laughs> sometimes legacy one. Some, <laughs> on occasion, I've been known this to be is like legacy a one. Of, it's a sort of Rorschach test for the soul. Mm. I always go for benevolent soul, but that's just me. Whatever. Yeah, I know. I like to think I was a nice person. In fact, no, I was a nice person in the first Pillars. Oh, I went to such lengths to be nice. Yeah. That's just RPGs, isn't it? You can't help it. Yeah. I like being the hero. So in Pillars of Eternity, you return to the, the lost hollowborn souls to the Deerwood's children, nice one, as you pledge to Hylia. You were kind and merciful to the people you encountered, sympathetic to their pain, and charitable to those who needed help. 
That sounds a lot like me. Good on you. Hey, what can I say? I'm a decent fella sometimes. Does everything appear to be in order? No, that's not what I... <laughs> nah, everything's dark. <laughs> bad times, everything bad. Honestly, I'm genuinely curious. If anyone has gone for, deliberately gone for like the everything's bad or... Just a, anything other than benevolent soul, I'd be really interested. Yeah, I'd, li I'd actually like to hear what kind of differences you get. Welcome to the beyond. I am Bera. One half, anyway. She points a finger in the direction of the dwarf who led you here. Though the movement is slight, her gauntlet squeaks like a rusty hinge. The dwarf's rictus returns as he nods in the woman's direction. Tell me, do you remember when we last met? Um... Hmm. <laughs> don't, don't want to be actually. rude. <laughs> Do I've just died quite a lot in my mind, so um, I like the remain silent option. Just, uh, <laughs> sorry, what? No. Huh? I'm gonna remain silent. You chose to pledge your services to other gods. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, that yeah. <laughs> so I did. It's ringing a bell now. Still, a pledge unmade stands fairer in this court than a pledge broken. Okay, that's fair actually. And that's why we love Bereth. She's fair. You had need of the gods once before. Now it seems we have need of you. Well, well, well. How the tables have turned. Welly, welly, welly. <laughs> the being that occupied Ognua's statue beneath your castle was the dead god, Aeothus. Of this, we are certain. What we do not know is what his intentions are. At the moment, it just seems to be crushing castles. So he does love that. He does love that. Though Aethys stole a large fragment of your soul, you were strong enough to survive the onslaught and enter the in-between. You and he are still connected. He has chosen a body made of living Atra, perfused with the power of thousands of souls, including yours. It should be little difficulty for an experienced Watcher to find him. I'm not going near that. <laughs> <laughs> Killed me! <laughs> oh, why don't you just do it yourself? Imagine saying that to a god. Like you've been <laughs> you've been killed, you're sitting at a god's table, you're just a sort of mercurial collection of purple vapour. And they tell you that and you go, why don't you just do it yourself? <laughs> what sort of person would do that? Let's find out. Will Kieran choose one, two, or three? <laughs> do it yourself. Go for two. <laughs> that sort of person. <laughs> Most mortal minds and bodies are incapable of containing divine power. It can lead to problems, as Aethys learned not long ago. Okay, that's fair. I can dig that. I think I would very much like to find him, because he killed a lot of people I know. And he destroyed my castle. I would like to voice your character, Kieran. How would you like me to voice him? Go ahead. Well, give me some, give me, what's my motivation? What sort of person am I? Well, we don't, at the moment, we are Vapor. Okay, so. so I'll just be me for now, and then I will tailor my voice to your build and class and background. I like the sound of this. Well, I'd like to find him as much as you would. He destroyed my castle and killed who knows, who knows how many people around it. I know. It is my business to know. It keeps me busy, that's all. <laughs> 322 in Cadnua and your surrounding lands. Oh, yeah, this has been oh. busy. Quite a Their few there. souls remain hmm. in Aethys still. You have the power to save them. Serve me and I will return <laughs> you to your body. Or don't. It's tempting, isn't it? So that's how you get a little world. secret ending. If you choose <laughs> option two here. <laughs> I'll take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Now let's get on with it. <laughs> Before you return to Aeora as my herald, you must remember who you were. The last whisper of life and death. When you can picture your own face, the beyond will lead you back to your own kind, to the world of mortals. Now, we were talking about this earlier on. I was excited to see what Kieran was going to create, and you were talking about an Orlan. I've I was. never known anyone create an Orlan as their player character, <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted, but I mean, let's see what we got. So we got this dashingly handsome man. We got... Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Minus one might, so it's a tricky build for fighters. Yeah, I'm not. Good perception. And good, good perception, resolve. good resolve. Godlikes. I tried a godlike build with my first Pillars 1 playthrough and I regretted it. 
So, so I played a godlike in my first play, uh, in my first pillars as well, and I picked a deaf godlike. Yeah. And I forgot that everyone hates you. Yeah, not the most popular. <laughs> no. That godlike looks like uh, Kurt from MDK. Yeah, I was thinking it looks like a monster from Pacific Rim. Phil talks about the past. <laughs> dwarves, I played through as a dwarf. I, I mean, love a, I love a dwarf build. Let's, let's be honest. Kind of looks like me already. <laughs> so I'm, I am drawn to this. I'm drawn to dwarves. I'm also drawn to the Almao because these guys look incredible. Very shiny skin. Very sh He's very shiny, actually, isn't he? So the choice is yours. I feel. I feel dwarf. I'm feeling dwarf. Let's do it. Okay, it's going to be a bad Scottish accent from here on out from me then. Oh. <laughs> that tempers your decision at all. <laughs> I think it's time to be a mountain dwarf. You're just building my build. You're copying me. I wish yeah. I'd have copyrighted my pillars <laughs> build now. Copyright, Phil. Do not steal. So Only I can dwarf. This is interesting. Single class or multi-class. It's recommended, obviously, for new players to go single class. Mm. I would also recommend it. I yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling single class considering it's my first time going through Pillars 2. So, we got our big fighties. We got our barbarians who love to rage. We got our fighters who are your classic smack everything till it falls. And paladin as well, which I'm also a big fan of. But I've also, I slightly feel the monk. <laughs> you could team, yeah, that, that'd be an interesting one, a dwarven monk. Mm, little... And it's a bit, I feel like we're going to get some hate for going fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Go something different just for the sake of these people. Let's, I'm interested to see how a, a dwarven monk. I'm tempted to, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go with monk. I'm, you know, if, I would actually like to hear what people think regards monk builds in the comments actually, so... Uh, if you've got any recommendations, uh, do let us know, because well, I think is. Monk is the path to go with. So, I feel the need to be pretty hearty, pretty mighty, pretty quick, but mad dumb. <laughs> 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 no, I think we should at least have a little bit of intelligence. Someone else can deal with all the intellect stuff. Give him some resolve. I like I like these extreme roles. Like rather than just everything's twelve. I like I like it when people really double down on their you know. I think twenty twenty might, 20 might is pretty good, right? <laughs> he's just we're saying he's a monk, but really by the way I'm building him, this guy seems more like some kind of bar crawl punching champion. Yeah. Now, Phil. now then I feel particularly protective of this avatar because I've played <laughs> with him in the bottom left of my screen for many, many hours. <laughs> But you do what you want, mate. You you desecrate my <laughs> my playthrough if you want. That's up to you. So do not worry, friend. Your let's play. I will pick something that is not your boy. Ooh, ooh, that's some He's that's some piercings. That's some piercings. Oh, we got big eyes, Dark tired eyes. eyes. <laughs> or turn around, bright eyes. Turn around, bright eyes. I'm feeling this guy in a way because oh. you know I'm playing this pub brawler. Yeah. Behind he's blue eyes. He's addicted to wounds. <laughs> Let's give him... He might as well face it. That's a big hairstyle. In fact, I think that's what your boy has, isn't it? I always have him underneath a hat, though, so... Mm, true. You can do what you want with hair. Oh, thanks, pal. Pose? I love the poses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we, ha oh, we, we actually have drunk. There we go. Drunk looks... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. That's him. <laughs> There he is. The Watcher of Cad Noah, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. CM Monk. CM Monk. Cad Moa. Moa. <laughs> Monk. Monk. No, there's no way. You're awake. What are you doing awake? How are you feeling? Honestly. <laughs> Next to no clue. <laughs> Oh, no, I can't say who are you. No, we can't lie. I know who this boy is. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain. That might have been me. They've been slapping you a little harder each day, trying to wake you. I like that. <laughs> I respect that. That's what I would do. <laughs> I never dreamed it'd work. Adair stares with disbelief at what would likely be his slapping hand. 
Examining both sides. He shrugs. Medicinal slap hands. I hate to cast a pall over your recovery, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Hey, the steward's still here. The voice echoes from inside the bust. The remains of the steward of Cad Nua. Cad Nua has been destroyed. Aethus possessed the statue of Maros Nua and rose from the ground, consuming the souls of all nearby. It is only by the exceptional strength of your soul that you survived. And even then, just barely. It's a really nice compliment when you think about it. As souls go, it is a rock The further yeah. Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the Deadfire Archipelago. I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. And proximity to it has brought you back. How could you know all that? You've been faking on us. He pokes at your shoulder with one finger. Misfortune's brewing topside. We... Migrants fires the captain stirs. An older man with ale-sour breath rubs his bloodshot eyes and stares at you. Man after me or not. Good friends. That's why he's on my boat. He's my drinking buddy. Hengrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Now what's this about? Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. Hello there. Well, what have we here? A little sloop, lost and alone in the storm. I already don't like Banworth. I'll be taking your ship now, if you don't mind. And especially if you do. Well, at least he asked. I am a gentleman of fortune. Give her up easy, and I'll see you get a swift death. <laughs> It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. What are you gonna go in for? <laughs> okay, I can't <laughs> I can't voice that, but sure. <laughs> That's what your character would do. <laughs> Adez. Adez on board. Always like that one. Sometimes I like the wiggle of the finger like it's tickling. <laughs> oh, I like your spirit. But that won't spare you none. Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish. One with sharper teeth, lot. I'm trusting you lot not to cop this up. Don't damage the sloop when you take it. Play with the crew if you'd like, but don't bring me any prisoners. None that are alive. You had bad whip after him. Here we, Here go. we go. So combat. I'm gonna beat. I mean, it's pretty simple at this. <laughs> yep. This stage, isn't it? It's gonna be fists to the face. Just well, smacking with my stick. So here I am, much like most evenings, just waking up on a beach. Sand in your curus. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking headache. And Chitterpeck. Barely alive on the beach next to you. At least he's here. Good old Chitterpeck. Meanwhile, just usual, usual self. <laughs> so we will we will call time there on episode one of this. We will obviously be picking it up from exactly this point. Uh, next week but uh, let us know what you thought about our build our decisions our background our imported save although we didn't import a save we just went for kind of benevolent soul we're good people let us know what you thought in general uh, yeah. and if you have any suggestions for how we should we're still early days so we're into any criteria that you want to throw at us for how we want to approach the coming quests uh, let us know all that subscribe to the channel so that you uh, you know when we drop new episodes of this and all our other content leave us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it that always helps and we will catch you next time